is Tennessee's Republican primary for U.S. Senate, quote, the nastiest in the country, as a national publication is calling it. Well, that was a question for the two top GOP candidates today in the middle of their negative ad blitz. State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard hears from both candidates. Let's begin with a headline from Political that proclaimed the race between Bill Haggerty and Manny Sethi the nastiest Republican primary in the country. Well, you see, William Francis Haggerty IV is not a regular guy. He's entitled, self-dealing. His friends in the ruling class aren't like you and me. Trump conservatives can't trust Manny Sethi. Sethi served on the board of the Massachusetts Medical Society, an organization that supported Obamacare. That's just a bit of the ad blitz from the leaders in Tennessee's Republican primary for the U.S. Senate nomination. While the ads are part of Politico's pronouncement, so is Haggerty's pronunciation of Sethi's name while questioning his opponent's conservative credentials. Manny said he did nothing, said nothing. While appearing on This Week with Bob Mueller from Nashville's WKRN-TV, Haggerty, who served as the president's ambassador to Japan, did not mention his opponent by name while repeating themes seen in ads. We have a situation where you have essentially a Democrat running in a Republican primary. You've got someone that's been out defending Obamacare. Sethi, who is a Vanderbilt trauma surgeon, held a town hall Thursday in a Nashville suburb where he tried to counter President Trump's endorsement of Haggerty. Now, more than ever, we got to support the president. We got to have his back. Like Haggerty, Sethi returned to the theme of his ads when asked about how the race got so nasty. Yeah, I think it's really unfortunate, and, I, and it's driven by um, my opponent and his millions of dollars of swamp money. As the primary approaches, expect more of those kind of words and ads from both Republican candidates. Reporting from Nashville, Chris Bungard. So as for the issues they might face as a U.S. Senator, both the Republican candidates expressed skepticism at extending federal unemployment payments of $600 a week.